Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Aquarius, for August 2022. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below how my tarot reading helps you out, Aquarius, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, of course. Now today, darling Aquarius, we're going to be getting into three rows for you. Your first row, we're going to be talking about the person that is on your mind right now. Could be romantic, platonic, darling, you know, it's just the person on your mind, right, darling? Your second row today, Aquarius, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear at this time, all right? Whether that's through your spiritual team or just through these tarot cards, darling, and just getting into a message that some, bringing something to your awareness. And then your last row, Aquarius, we're going to be getting into your predictions. If you are to, going to continue down the same path that you have been going down, I should be able to get a good idea about what should be happening in your life, all right? So remember, Aquarius, just be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you want to support me. It's completely free and I appreciate those that choose to do that. It helps me out a lot. Um, but let's get into this reading for you. Page of Pentacles, all right? Page of Pentacles energy. Uh, I see for you, Aquarius, a couple things, right? The Page of Pentacles can represent someone extending out their pentacle to you, wanting to communicate, all right? I feel for some of you Aquarians... Uh, you might be uh, noticing increased communications from certain loved ones. I feel I felt in, inclined to say uh, to specify loved ones. Um, so yeah, you might be uh, increasing communications from someone. I get especially like some type of male figure or someone that exudes male energy, I suppose. But also, I, you know, maybe I'm just feeling like this masculine energy because of financial. You know, money is a very masculine energy. And I see for you, Aquarians, like leaning a little bit more into the financial energies of things, all right? You might be um, picking up, doing more to increase your revenue. Um, I see for many of you guys taking further control of some type of financial situation, all right? I feel as if for you, Aquarius, if you were to go into some type of meeting, because I see, I see an Aquarius that's sitting at a business table or a business meeting and uh negotiating like negotiating terms all right i see for i guess that would be a sign for many of you aquarians that you might be negotiating something in the coming days or if you have been wanting to negotiate this would be the optimal time to take advantage of that energy all right things are going to be opening up for you aquarius all right i really want to i i might have said this to you in a previous reading it's really hard for me to remember readings after i do them because just in the moment but I feel like for you, the more that you explore and dip your hands in multiple pots, Aquarius, the more success I see happening for you. All right, darling. So remember, this page of pentacles energy is going to be influencing all three of your rows, darling. So let's start with the person that is on your mind today, Aquarius. For some reason, I wanted to call y'all Leo. I wanted to do that for Gemini as well. But for some reason, I just I felt Leo. The Gemini was a mistake. But for some reason, I feel like for you guys, Aquarius, it's not. I'm always a tarot reader that's very blunt and honest too. Sometimes I just miss, uh, mistake some of y'all's names sometimes, right? Y'all like y'all are my children. But this time, I feel like Leo energy for some reason is very, re very relevant might even just be you exuding more Leo energy. Anyways, person on your mind, darling. You have that King of Wands. Not, I'm just now looking at the King of Wands and you have that lion, that Leo energy standing back there. I promise y'all I didn't even look until just now. That Queen of Cups and then that Six of Cups as well. Ooh, okay here, Aquarius. First thing I want to be saying, this is side message here, but I feel like you, you, someone's proud of you from afar, all right? I don't think you talk to them anymore, but I get like this sensation of where it's just like there's certain people that you don't talk to, or maybe it's just like a friend from a distance, family from a distance here. I feel like there's certain people that are proud of what it is that you're doing. I actually even, dare I even say Aquarius, this might be someone that has moved on. I normally don't go into mediumship messages just because I feel like that's extremely in, in, inappropriate for public readings, general tarot readings especially. But I get like this sense of just like someone that you don't communicate with anymore because I don't because I'm being shown a mouth being taped, so you y'all don't communicate anymore. Watching what it is that you're doing, and I'm seeing a smile through that duct tape. You know how like the cheek will like raise. You know, like I'm seeing a smile. And I'm taking this as being proud. 
I'm seeing scars as well. So I know uh, <laughs> now I'm hearing like the Joker is like, you want to know how I got these scars? No, but um, I'm not, I don't even like Batman. I don't like superheroes and stuff anyways. But I'm seeing scars, which I'm taking that as symbology of where it's just like, y'all definitely had some type of history. All right. And maybe y'all sparred verbally. Maybe this is like a loved one that you didn't get along with. Um, hmm. Uh, I also get with this this is really turning I don't know what it is with y'all Aquarians but y'all always bring out a very specific energy in me I usually don't read in this style but um, following in footsteps I don't know if you guys are following in someone's footsteps or honoring something taking up the uh, picking up the torch with something I'm just hearing that. I don't know. Like, this is turning into something entirely different. <laughs> Aquarius. I apo I mean, no, I don't apologize because I feel like it's very necessary. But I know that y'all came in here just like, all right, the person on your mind here. But I feel like those three cards, Aquarius, was just like, s wanted to bring that to awareness. And I promise you, again, I gain, I gain literally nothing from lying, right? Even if I did lie, Aquarius, right? Let's just hypothetically say I did lie about like the Leo energy that I was seeing. Um, and I wanted to say like nothing happens, right? This, this video is still going to get the same views. Like nothing happens. You know what I mean? So I have no purpose on lying, but like <laughs> lying and then the line. Okay. I need to stop. But like, I just think it's interesting. Anyways, let's actually get into the person on your mind. We're going to use the Necronomicon deck here. All right. Firstly, we have that Knight of Pentacles that flopped out. Queen of Swords, the world energy. Back of the deck, we got that Fool. All right, Aquarius. Person on your mind right now. Again, there is this sense of distance. I feel like for you, this is giving me like a situation still of like, and now I know for a fact this isn't someone that's passed on, but like sense of distance where you are that queen of swords, you have been like living your life, living your true self here. And whatever happened in the past with this Knight of Pentacles here, I feel like there was like this sense of separation. And that's why you would see this Page of Pentacles energy here, very much like this Knight matching this uh, Page of Pentacles very beautifully here. All right um i feel as if you might be expecting some type of communication from somebody here in the coming days all right it's like the sense of where you've been just living your business queen of swords world energy it's just like maybe you were bummed out about whatever happened not talking to anyone like whatever but you've been living your life you've been creating things starting things like you life has gone on for you i don't feel like life has really progressed too much for this person here all right um that's just like a side note out observation that i've personally made here i don't feel like this person has really progressed too much simply over the fact that they're still thinking about this and thinking about you on some level right because i guess you could see this in a romantic way and be like oh they are thinking about me i haven't forgotten about me me, whatever but it's also like i also just get like the sensation of being like good god darling like you still thinking about me you still talking about me like i don't know why i felt like that and i'm that's not my <clears throat> in my nature uh aquarius like i'm not very uh i'm very optimistic so for me to even be feeling that it's kind of like okay so let's get into what you need to hear at this time, Aquarius, because I've been running my mouth quite a bit, haven't I, darling? Haven't I? You have this world card coming out once again. Three of pentacles, eight of pentacles for you. What you need to hear right now is that you're about to be stepping into a major new cycle in your life here all right um i get this sense for you especially with this eight of pentacles eight of pentacles by definition aquarius this talks about going up in their ranks right um well it talks about going back to school to further your knowledge and just further expansion right you know think of it like promotion energy it's like movement as well like you're leaving one situation but it's growth like you're molting i don't know why i felt the need to really just specify that anyways you already know that I'm long-winded. Three of Pentacles energy here. I see collaborations working with other people. That's why you will see in most artworks that it's depicted as like three very different individuals all working towards one mutual goal, one mutual objective here, all right? And then that's that further elevation. I want to suggest to you at this time, Aquarius, to be more uh, considerate of other people's point of views. All right. I feel as if, um, yes, definitely you, you have a, I always say, especially for you Aquarians, I say that y'all are my mad scientists energy where it's just like each Aquarian has just their own verbiage, their own language. And you have to like really be invested into the Aquarian to understand them fully because otherwise they just come off as a mad scientist, but there's always a method to their madness. Right. 
And so I respect that unique uh, perspective that you have, darling. Trust and believe me out of anybody, Aquarius. But I feel like it's really important for you to have more grounded uh, perspectives, more grounded approaches here. You know, there is a sense for you... I don't know why, but I'm being sh the word antithesis keeps popping in my head here. So I'm taking this as like black and white, yin and yang, where it's like, while you might have like the creative brain behind everything and you see like the art behind things, I feel like you'll be really ba decently, beautifully balanced out with energies that spirit seems to be trying to align you with, with people who may not be very artsy, but very business oriented. All right. That complements you in that way where it's like, some people would see, I guess I see that as, so I guess I shouldn't project it to some people. I see like, there's like a fine line between art and business. And I feel like you can't, like art is the very opposite of business where you're doing art for personal expression and business, you're doing something for the business. And so I feel like you can meet something halfway here. All right, the world energy here for you, I feel like is challenging you, um, Aquarius, challenging you on how you make your money for some of you guys here. Y'all thought we forgot about that page of pentacles. Uh-uh, honey. All right, challenging how you make your money, challenging you in how you communicate with people, how you work with people here, challenging your approach, really challenging your perspective here i see this world card coming in as like a challenge being like all right is aquarius up for the challenge of switching things up getting out of their comfort zone what if we put aquarius into an environment that there's no art let's see how the artist survives with no paint brushes you have oh i say that aquarius my god i just love y'all's reading aquarius i always gush over y'all's readings because i feel like when I connect to y'all's energy, I feel like I'm my most spiritual when I'm like doing readings. Not to say that when I'm doing readings in general with all these zodiac signs, I'm not spiritual, but I feel the most spiritually charged with y'all's energy when I'm doing general tarot readings. Anyways, I say this because of this 56, number 11 in numerology, all right? Which is your energy, by the way. I consider number 11 Aquarian energy because 11 is that making that wish. Aquarians are that star energy. What do you do when you see a star, when you wish upon a star? All right. The wall, though, obstacles. And this card flopped out for you, Aquarius, when I was just talking about what it was that I was saying about you being challenged. How are you going to handle the obstacle? How is the artist going to create art without paintbrushes? How is the artist going to thrive in corporate America? Or I guess that's very presumptuous. I know I have people that watch me from more than just America, <laughs> but that's the first thing that came to mind. I apologize, but just in believe, I acknowledge that all my people watch me from America. That's why I have always in my captions, like a bunch of different languages. <laughs> But y'all get the point. You be easy on me, Aquarius. Be easy on me. All right. A burst of magic for you here. Very interesting complementary energies here. A burst of magic with that obstacle there. All right. I feel like this is where art meets magic. I don't, I guess I'm really projecting this art narrative on you, Aquarians. All right. I guess that just showcases how I think of y'all. But I feel like there's like this meeting point of like where your art or your passion meets business meets metaphysical spiritual aspects there all right and i feel like if you can intertwine the three of your fulfillment spirituality as well as um there's a word that i'm thinking of anyways i can't i'm not going to sit on it for too long but i feel like if you were to combine your craft and have it cover more than just one thing like for example i do tarot right so it fulfills me financially but it also fulfills me just from a personal level and the sense of like the sense of accomplishment i feel and like what it is i'm able to do to help people right and also on a spiritual level because it you know helps push me spiritually to continue um expounding on my spiritual gifts right you have the new moon in cancer relax here uh aquarius relax why is this card here relax i actually want to expound on that the empress coming in here relax right now for you aquarius because everything that's happening for you right now is all part of the plan all right i feel like for you right now everything that's being presented to you currently aquarius is a sense of like I don't know, like, I know this gets into, like, the Matrix conversations, and I just don't, like, I don't know, I don't ever entertain those type of conversations because it's, like, why? But um, I feel like for you, Aquarius, 
like you're like in a hunger games you're like in a matrix where it's just like everything that you're experiencing is like very artificially there where it's just like let's see what aquarius does with this or that or what have you give yourself grace all right you're going through a gauntlet you're going through some challenges here darling but it has nothing to do with you it's just like you're being just tested essentially aquarius i suppose all right so let's get into your predictions for today aquarius all right you have this nine of pentacles knight of cups and two of swords coming in here for you all right predictions for you that court card coming in here someone offering their cup or bouquet of roses to you i feel like your crossroads is going to present themselves in your life aquarius of where you're going to be having to come face to face with what you do with some relationship in your life what you do with some project in your life it's one of those things where you're finally having to come to terms with how a situation has progressed and now you have to make the decision behind being like all right do i feed energy into this or do i permanently cut this off here i see for you guys as well aquarius this sense of where career-wise or financially like also like making the choice like making an important choice with how you do things like i feel like you're making like official choices with a lot of facets in your life right now aquarius like you're making the choice and like what type of jobs you'll accept or how you make your money you're making choices with like what certain people will remain relevant in your life here right it's like one of those things where it's like you haven't made too much action perhaps i feel like not to say you haven't been taking action or productive aquarius but i feel like for certain things you haven't like you put you've taken note of certain things right it's like you're taking note of that's this is what this is the perfect analogy aquarius to so go along with it it's like you've taken note aquarius of like everything that's wrong with the house right you're just like all right like i got this leaky faucet i got this one doorknob in the garage that needs to be fixed my bedroom i gotta change the light bulb i gotta get that one outlet in the corner darling that one of the outlets don't work it's the top one right you have this entire list of things that you need to do to fix your house all right. And so you've been aware about it this entire time. And I feel like you're now like everything's now coming together. Now you're taking action on fixing each one thing. And it's going to be like a boom, 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 boom. I don't know. That's what I feel. <laughs> deep thoughts, deep words with Velko, darling. You hear things like boom, 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 boom. And darling 500 times in a video. <laughs> i love you so much aquarius hopefully this reading gave you some clarity a uh, sense of direction here all right be sure to check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign aquarius if this reading helps you out maybe you want to book a reading with me simplyvelka.com for those be sure to follow me on social media tiktok instagram and facebook aquarius all of them just being simply velka same as here darling and i'll connect with you aquarius sometime in the near future bye darling